Hi there, Doug Stumann with IT Creations. We've already seen both Dell's top-of-the-line precision workstations and HP's top-of-the-line Z-Series G4 performance workstations. Lenovo has a performance lineup too, and today we'll be taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkStation P720 workstation. The P720 is the middle child of the three Lenovo performance models, which also include the single-socket ThinkStation P520 and dual-socket top-of-the-line ThinkStation P920. Are you beginning to see a pattern here? Let's take a look. Lenovo's dual socket ThinkStation P720 is designed to compete against Dell's dual socket Precision 7820 workstation and HP's dual socket Z6 G4 workstation. If you've seen our other reviews covering the Z6 G4 and the Precision 7820, then you would know that both of these support top of the line Intel Xeon scalable processors, 384 gigabytes of memory, massive storage, plus support for M.2 storage. Oh, and a maximum of two high performance GPUs. This same pattern of design similarity plays out for the next level down with the P520 and at the other end of the spectrum with the P920. Although to be fair, the P920 supports slightly less memory at two terabytes instead of the three terabytes on the Z8 and the Precision 7820 because it only has 16 memory slots instead of 24. Other than that, pretty much same, same, but enough of those. With a P720, there's no need to purchase that extra CPU mezzanine tray like on the Precision 7820 and Z6 G4 because both CPU sockets are on the same board, right next to each other. Besides, if that configuration is so special, why didn't they do that for the Z8 G4 and the Precision 7920? Usually that comes down to an upsell, but let's not dwell on that. You can install one or two Intel Xeon scalable processors from the bronze, silver, gold, or platinum families. Each processor also supports six memory channels for significantly improved memory performance over the previous generation Intel Xeon E5 2600 V4 processors with only four memory channels per processor. Scalable processors also provide more PCI lanes. Are you interested in purchasing the Lenovo ThinkStation P720 workstation? Because if you are, for a limited time you can save up to $250 off the purchase price of a system listed at $2,500 or more. Just click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. IT Creations also carries all the CPUs, memory modules, storage devices, and other miscellaneous stuff to outfit your system, including some of those small but powerful M.2 NVMe drives. Shop now, or at least after you finish the video. Alongside each CPU socket are two sets of three memory module slots, for a total of six module slots per processor and 12 memory slots for the whole system board. This ensures optimal memory performance as each memory module occupies its very own memory channel. Plus, with only 384 gigabytes of registered memory supported, you don't need to purchase any of those crazy expensive CPUs that can support 1.5 terabytes each. Memory speed tops out at 2666 megahertz, depending on your choice of processor and memory. Management of the system is provided by Intel Active Management Technology and ThinkStation Diagnostics for Windows. You can also get an optional four-digit diagnostic display for one of the flex bays on the front of the system for more telltale LEDs. Lenovo's Performance Advisor, which is free to download, provides an alternate launch window for any ISV certified applications on your system. It evaluates your current configuration and optimizes the performance for that specific application. It's pretty cool. There's one area where Lenovo definitely wins out and that's storage. You can install up to 12 drives on this system. Actually more, but we'll get to that. There are four internal drive bays plus two 5.25 inch media bays on the front of the chassis, both of which can be converted to support additional storage. There are two different ways to add storage in the 5.25 inch media bays. One uses the front access storage enclosure supporting a single drive, and the other is an optional multi-drive conversion kit that can support both a slimline optical device and a 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch storage device. For a standard configuration, the system will support six drives with four internal and two drives in the 5.25 inch media bays. Optional configurations can support four internal 3.5 inch dual drive trays with one 3.5 inch drive and one 2.5 inch drive or two 2.5 inch drives for a total of 10 internal drives when you include converting both of the 5.25 inch media bays for storage. Add in two M.2 drives with the dedicated onboard slots and there you have it, 12 drives. That said, Lenovo does not account for the additional storage from up to seven more M.2 NVMe drives that can be installed. I mean, those are drives too, right? One or two M.2 drives are supported in a solid state drive holder with an aluminum heatsink for the two drives. The front fan assembly locks the M.2 holder in place and is also used to secure double width graphics cards. If two M.2 drives are not enough, then you can install up to seven more. Four M.2 drives can be installed using a full height, full length by 16 PCI adapter card. The other three supported M.2 drives are installed in separate PCI cards with one drive each and cannot be rated together. All these drive configurations and the fact that higher capacity drives are becoming the norm make a maximum internal storage value kind of useless. And the storage values provided by Lenovo didn't mention everything altogether. The two onboard M.2 drives and M.2 PCI quad drive 
can all be rated, but require an NVMe RAID upgrade in the form of VROC or a discrete HD controller. Intel Virtual RAID on CPU, or VROC, allows you to connect NVMe-based SSDs like M.2 directly to the PCI lanes supported by the scalable processors. No HD controller required, although you will need an optional VROC activation key available in BASIC or premium versions. BASIC will provide RAID configurations of 0, 1, and 10. With a premium version, you get all those RAIDs plus RAID 5 too. RAID by VROC is not hardware or software RAID, but a hybrid RAID technology. It uses Intel's silicone-based volume management device, which is part of the Xeon scalable processor architecture and requires a few processor cores to calculate the RAID logic. Five PCI 3.0 slots and a single PCI slot on the system board provide even more functionality with support for high-performance SAS drives using an optional Broadcom PCI adapter card. The Broadcom 9460-16i will support up to 16 drives, or you can go with the 9448i, which supports 8 drives. Using a discrete HD controller will provide RAID configurations for SAS, SATA, and NVMe devices. Other supported PCI options include high-end GPUs from both NVIDIA and AMD. The P720 will support a single NVIDIA P6000 or a maximum of two Quadro P5000 cards with SLI, or you can install up to three GPUs rated at under 75 watts of power. Several other options are supported, including a Wi-Fi card, network interface cards, and Thunderbolt for super-fast data transfers. With a single processor, only four PCI slots are available. With both processors, you get all six. Lenovo's high-performance ThinkStation lineup offers very comparable performance compared to similarly configured systems from both Dell and HP. In fact, they feature nearly the same breakdown of CPU, memory, and M.2 support. The P720 definitely offers more storage at up to 60 terabytes compared to both Dell and HP. Although, to be honest, all three offer a ton of storage in general. Again, I will say Dell has a nice feature with upfront hot swap support for M.2 drives in specially designed HD trays, but still, the P720 offers the same support for M.2, just not hot swap. Dell most likely has a patent on their hot swap M.2 drive trays, but there's still room for a hot swap quad drive in the media base. Just saying. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our review of Lenovo's ThinkStation P720. If you have any questions on this platform or any other, just post them in the comments section below. If you're looking for a complete system or just parts and components, check out IT Creations. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stumann with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.